Hello everyone, I am Honey Chill Ohanyo from BS Home Economics 2A and for this video discussion, we'll make an architect about aesthetic, reverently and powerful painting of Jean Leon G Jerome entitled Pelt Merchant of Cairo together with Hister Prin Jose BSH 2A Let's go! Let's look, see and think about this famous painting from Jerome Let's explain briefly the elements of arts present of this painting, which are the lines, colors, shapes, shading techniques, balance, proportion, and perspective. Line. In this painting, it has a thick line because of the objects in the ground that are closer to be seen. There is also a horizontal line where the male was sitting and also in the upper part we can also see the vertical line which is the wall where the man leaned on the curved line which we can see from behind and also the vanishing line helps the painting to be more realistic because we can also see people from behind because of it in this portrait, we will see the color is dynamic, that is, complementary use of the man's skin tone against the foundation. Currently, it catches consideration or attractiveness because of the wealthy colors of the tiger pelts. Or pelt. Shape. In the painting, we can see two-dimensional shapes like tiger's pelt and the merchant. So let's move on in the shading techniques. The craftsman uses distinctive circularism and the shading method to produce soft and practical skin textures, particularly on the face of the vendors and the divider. And the foundation of the portrait is formed by mixing of orange and dark shades. The common light is still sufficient to see the man through the window, but the shading gives a more reasonable view of the window. So let's go in balance. In this portrait, we will also say that it is maybe a symmetrical adjustment since the two sides are not elevated to the same level, such that on the other part or the cleared outside, we cannot see clearly the man from behind, the lady within the over parcel, and the individual from the front where us on the other side or the correct side we are able to figure out that is the that it is the shiper who is holding the head protector and the belt in proportion is is that the right side has a large figure compared to the side shapes and lines in the artwork they help to create value and structure to be, as, to be seen. They form a holistic pattern that visualizes the concept behind the strokes. Perspective. Let's move into the perspective. If we will look at it from a distance, we can assume that the merchant is cuddling a tiger and holding a helmet. But if we see it clearly or closely or low point of view, we can conclude and figure out that it is not a tiger but a beautiful belt of a tiger that he was a holding a helmet or head protector. I think that's the elements of arts present in this painting or art form. Now, let's see the shapes and images found in the painting. Helps to shape the artist's vision. 
The painting demonstrates completeness and unity by perfectly organizing the lines, shapes, colors, and other elements to create a whole look similar to what we see in the picture. I can say that there is unity because the art is well done and the elements have a consistent appearance which supports the presence of the young merchant. The artist makes use of space by giving us moderate view of what art is all about. The artist created a space or background field when certain scenery surrounded by an urban setting just to give us a moderate view of what the art is all about. Good day, ma'am. I am Mr. Fred Aparocho, sir. The group made of Miss Hanya. And in this video critic, I am going to identify the following elements or principle of art found in the artwork by Jerome. C three to five and think one to six. So number three. Are there characters? What they look like? So in the artwork, yes, they look like animals. Number four. What is the setting or situation? So in the artwork. Search. It is in Cairo Street. Number five. What coloring technique is being utilized in the artwork? So the painter uses oil painting in academicism style of art. And now we are in the part three. So number one. What is happening in this painting? So, the young man or the model in this painting uses the skin of the tiger. He is handsome man, shoulders, and his hands show an energetic and contraposition under the tiger skin that give us a strong sense of hidden body and the integrity of the body is confirmed by diagonal uniting of his head, his hand and helmet, and his foot, setting up a rhythm of assuming just two positions of shapes and body parts with is nonetheless give emphasis to a great head. Number two, what manner of presentation does the artist use this to? In the artwork, Jerome uses academic style. He painted this Orientalism painting titled Belt Merchant of Cairo. So it is a portrait of a merchant on a corner of a building on a street with most of his body was covered with a beautiful belt of four of a tiger. Number three. What emotions are produced in the painting? So, in the painting, it is an alluring emotion due to the handsomeness of a young man. Number four, what is most likely the message of this painting? So, the young man must be brave enough, just like the tiger. The bravest animal in the forest. A young man must wear his bravery and prowess as the painting shows that the man is covered with a tiger skin. Number 5. What historical, religious, social issues are being presented in this artwork? Drum painting is a typical general art which uses events and scenes taken from daily life such as in street scenes, markets, and domestic settings. In the 
pelt merchant of Karu, the artist depicts the rich colors, a lifelike impression of the street seller displaying his belt. Number 6. Who is the author? What does his background influence this artwork? So Jean Leon Jerome. Jerome sent work to the Paris Salon in 1847 and gained third class medal. He used his success to undertake a series of religious and mythical paintings, which enabled him to win a second class medal on the Paris Salon. Jerome was later commissioned to paint a large mural and given a substantial amount of money to research and prepare his subject matter, which culminated in a mural entitled The Age of Augustus, The Birth of Christ. Again, I am the groupmate of Miss Hanyo. I am Miss Jose. Thank you for watching and listening. Goodbye, keep safe, and thank you so much.